Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, if you're reading the title to this video, then you know what's about to go down. I have been, um, kind of hesitant to film this video because, um, the more you feed into this shit, um, the scarier and the more intense it gets. Um, so, sorry, I'm trying to fix my camera. So, it's so, it's so crazy because I just filmed another video on a paranormal encounter um, with um, this kind of witch type demon in our neighborhood. And, um, I will link that video down below in the description. <sighs> so, let's get started to a couple of things that has happened, um, in my house, um, with the paranormal. So, <sighs> grab a drink, grab popcorn, <sighs> grab whatever you need to do, and... I'll tell you these events. So, a couple of years back, well, let's go to the beginning where, like, I first moved into this house. So, like, um, this was when I was in third grade, like, the beginning of third grade. Um, I moved into the house that I am now, um, basically my childhood home. Um... It was the first home that my family has ever actually owned. And, um, like, coming into the house, it was like a new start for our family. And it was just like, um, my parents just got back together <sighs> from being separated for a while. That's just a whole other situation. Um, but we moved into this house and... Um, my brother and me lived, well, we slept in this room, like my room, um, because we just didn't have beds, um, for us to get our own rooms and sleep in. And we had just a bunch of stuff that we kept in the, in my brother's room, um, like clutter and everything. So every now and then I would feel like, you know, not alone. Um, like I was, like I always felt like someone was watching me. And there was a couple events where, um, my brother recently just, like, he moved into his own room. Um, we moved all the stuff out of his room, and then he moved into his room, and I kept my room for me. <sighs> and, um, we painted my room, all this, like, ocean-themed stuff. It was just a phase I was going through. And I would sleep with lights in my room, because I, I still sleep with this backlight in my room, because, like... I'm terrified of the dark for situations that I will be telling you about in this video. Like, every time I try to sleep in the dark, like, I see shadows of people in my room. And it just freaks me out. And, like, I get panic attacks. So, um, so, I would have, like, lights in my room when I was in third grade. And... At night, um, the lights, the lights would be hanging on the wall over there, and then, like, my bed would be on this side. So, every single night, I would, like, 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 my bed would be facing this direction. So, I would look that way, and then I saw my wall up there, and every single night, I saw this, like, shadow of a girl, like, in a dress, like, in a, uh, short dress. And every single time I looked towards the direction where the light was coming from, I didn't see anything. But then when I looked back, like, she was there still. And this would happen in a course of a couple months. And then I switched the lighting and everything. And then I would try to look for if every single night if the shadow would be there. And it stopped. It stopped showing up. So I figured, like, it was just like, oh, like, something was making it like 
shot like sh put a shadow on my wall making it look like a girl but I don't know it was it was pretty terrifying for a couple of years um, until like I would start like hearing like voices in my in my house like this one time I was taking a shower and every single time I take a shower I lock the door because I like my privacy and as I was taking a shower midway taking a shower I hear this like in this creepy ass little girl voice I'm here like I'm here and like I I looked out and obviously the door was locked um and I saw no one like no one was there so that kind of shit freaked me out for so many times in my being alone in my house I would hear things I would see things but I would I always ignored it because the more you like let yourself know that they're there the more they'll do it and the more like they'll mess with you so so then like a couple of times i would be like um in the house or in the kitchen and you know we'd have medicine on our um kitchen table like in the middle of the kitchen table and then i would turn my back and then the um medicine the pill bottle would like fly off the table and onto the floor and so like obviously the way i see it like every single time something weird happens i'm like are you fucking serious i have to pick it up like i ignore it i don't i instantly don't think like oh shit it's something paranormal i'm like oh shit now i have to fucking pick it up so it doesn't really affect me as much as it does with my brother and my mom and my dad um, I don't know if my dad has experienced anything, but my mom has. So, a, a year ago, my mom told me that, um, she was putting some, like, lotion on her, on her hands. And then she went to bed and she had the lotion, like, on her nightstand. And then she woke up in the middle of the night because she felt something touch her. And she woke up and the lotion was right there next to her hand and she she pushed it off the bed and it fell down um on the floor and she told me that when she when she like experienced it um she tried to not acknowledge the fact that it happened um because like i said like the more you notice the shit that they do to mess with you the more like they'll keep doing it so like if you just pretend like you don't care or like like you just not trying to pay attention to it it will stop um or it won't happen as much so this um the more intense um this shit has gotten the the more scared i've been and this experience happened like it was a year ago this experience happened to me it was um i saw um a tana mojo um video of her talking about this uh sleep paralysis um if you've ever had sleep paralysis oh my god it's the most scariest shit to ever happen to you like literally like i experienced it one time i experienced it one time and never again have i gotten it and i literally thought i saw the devil so, unlike me, my brother did experience it multiple times, and he's had it the worst. Like, he experienced it the worst, but I was, I remember this night, I was super tired. I was, like, unbelievably exhausted, and um, normally sleep paralysis happens when you're really, really tired, so I remember I was listening to music and I had some lantern lights like on the top of my closet um, so I could see I can see through my room like everything um, it was dark but I could st still see like through my room and I was laying on my side and then I turned off my music I took my headphones off and I started laying on my back 
and I was looking up at the ceiling and I was tired and all of a sudden I felt this like sensation of being scared and terrified. And so my, this was back when I didn't have a door. I will explain this later on why I didn't have a door, but, um, it was back when I didn't have a door and, um, so in the middle of me feeling this weird sensation of like being scared and terrified, I called out for my mom and then she didn't hear me. She didn't come. And then I like yelled out mom, but midway saying mom, my mouth stopped and it closed. And then all of a sudden I could not move my body. So as I'm like laying there, not being able to move my body and looking up at the foot of my bed, um, at the foot of my bed, this like figure emerges from like the ground. Like it just floats up, um, like, and I'm looking at it and like, it's just a mass of darkness and like, like, I don't, it's just smoke. Like, that's all I see. It's a, a, a darkness shadow of smoke, like, f floating over me. And I feel, like, this tightness on my chest. And, um, like, it's freaking me out. I'm, I'm trying to scream. I'm trying to say, um, yell out for my mom. I'm trying to, like, I'm starting to, like, panic. And I can't move, I can't talk, I can't do anything. All I, all I am is feeling this pressure on my chest and seeing this figure on top of my body. And so it lasts about like a couple seconds and then it just disappears. And then I, I, I wake, I get up and I like go to my mom's room and I was like, did you hear me calling for you? And she was like, no, I didn't hear anything. And so I went to the bathroom and I started crying because I literally thought I saw the devil. So it was pretty terrifying, but not as terrifying as what my brother experienced. So my brother's experience is like, it's so fucking terrifying and it's like so disturbing. Um, viewer as um, Discretion is advised that like what I will be telling you will be super disturbing. So um, if you're not interested in um, or if this will be triggering for you, I suggest you click out of this video right now. But for those that um, want to continue with this video, um, I will tell you what my brother's experience is. So the first time my brother experienced the paralysis, he was sleeping in his bed, um, and his bed, the way it, it used to be, um, the way it used to be was that his bed would face the door so that he could see, um, he could see the door. Um, the way he was laying, he would be able to see the door and like, you could walk in and he's like, his face connects to the door, so, um, so he told me that he was laying in bed and he left his door open. And then he's like in the middle of the night, he, his TV was midway on, um, not completely on, but like he could still see his room. And so he looks at the door and he sees this like this like skinny, skinny, like little monster man, like a, like a demon kind of thing. And his, there, he's like smiling like this, like his smile is like this wide and he's got like no eyes and, um, he's like black and skinny and he, he like peeks over at the, um, edge of the door and he's like, shh. And, um, I, I instantly got chills because my brother told me this. I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, oh my fucking God. And my brother said that, like, the the guy, the demon or whatever it was, the sleep paralysis, like, demon, like, started tiptoeing towards my brother. Like, tiptoeing, like, super, like, like, dramatically tiptoeing towards him. And, like, he got close to his face, like, this close to his face and was like, shh. And, like, he panicked. Like, he freaked out. And, um... 
he he panicked and then he fell asleep so it's just like creepy it's super creepy um but like the 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 next sleep process it gets more disturbing so he's like this it's like i think it's like six in the morning and he sees like he's in he's sleeping in his room and he wakes up and he can't move and he looks over at his closet and this like baby version of him like a five-year-old version of him walks out of his closet and then like a 12 year old version of him walks out of his closet and then a 16 year old version of him walks out of the closet and then an adult version of him walks out of the closet and they're all looking at him like and then all of a sudden they start cutting themselves like cutting deep into their arm and they're like like looking at him and saying this was because of you this was because of you and um so he's like looking at these like figures of himself lo looking down at him because of the sleep paralysis and then the five-year-old version of him cr climbs onto his chest and starts cutting himself and then screams in his face and my brother like literally he panics like again and then he passes out every single time he has sleep paralysis he panics and he passes out and so he wakes up and he was like what the fuck is this shit? So, it's like, I don't know if, like, this shit happens because our house is haunted or, uh, or shit like that. Um, I don't mess with Ouija boards. I don't contact demons. I don't do any of that ritual shit that has been popular on YouTube because I know this shit is real and that it fucking messes with you and it's, like, scary. Um, I honestly don't don't understand like why it happens but i am certainly not the only one in this neighborhood that experienced shit there are other other people in my neighborhood that has experienced like paranormal shit my best friend who lives a couple of houses down from mine the one that went to with me to the girl scout camp though in the video that i will link down below um before she moved in the house there used to be this man who had cancer and um that lived in her house um that was in her room he, her room was his room and he died he died in her room and she tells me that um that every single night like she would have a bad feeling in her closet like she'd see a man in her closet um and she would trip out and she would go to sleep and then she'd like like when she was alone in her house um, she was outside in her backyard and all of a sudden she hears like this coughing inside her house and she flips out and she calls me and she's like, Hey, let's go walk. And then she tells me later on during the walk that like she experienced this and it gives me chills every single time. And, um, her, I talked to her little brother and he told me that before her room was, um, before it was her room, it was his room. And he would just have this, like, sinking sensation and a dark feeling of someone being in the room with him. And it was a room that he slept with by himself. And every once in a while, like, the door would, like, open by itself. And, like, or it would lock. Like, the door would lock. And so when he tried to go out to the living room and open the door, he couldn't because it was locked. Like, and it wouldn't unlock. So it was just, like... It's just, like, a thing that, like, I'm not the only one in my neighborhood that experienced crazy shit like this. <sighs> but, like, it's just, it's crazy to think about because it's scary. It's, like, super scary. And I remember when, um, me and my brother were little, um, I was, like, I think I was, like, 10 years, like, no. I think I was, like, 13 and he was, like, 7 we i was we were both in my room and we were playing on the on the floor and i had this life-size um superman toy like this big like this like it was a big toy and he was behind me like the superman toy was behind me and um 
my brother screams and he's like, oh my God, oh my God, look at look behind you. know, I turn and I'm like, what? And like, I, all I see is a Superman toy. And my brother tells me that the Superman toy is had literally spinned all the way, all the way around and like looked at my brother. Like it's been like this, like it's been all the way around. And it looked at my brother and um, my brother starts freaking out. And ever since then, my brother's been scared of my room. Like, no joke. Like, he is terrified of being in my room by himself. Um, unlike me, I don't really care about being in my room by myself. I mean, it's pink, it's girly, and, like, I, I'm used to being inside my room. But, um, till this day, my brother's terrified of going inside my room, and he will not be in my room by himself. So, it's just, it's crazy. Um, these paranormal experiences... Um, they're dark, they're scary, and, um, the more I think about it, the more shit happens to me. But, um, I try not to let it bother me. I try not to, like, feed into it because, like I said, if you feed into it, they will, like, continuously do it. They will attach themselves to you, and it's just not good. So, so, like... For those of you um, that don't, if you believe me, that's good. Like, I, uh, I am telling the truth. But for those that don't believe me, well, that's that's on you. If you haven't experienced paranormal shit, then you don't know the feeling. So, it's like, like, that's just my experiences. If anything other crazy shit happens to me, I will um, talk about it and I will tell you guys the stories. Um, so that is this video. If you like this video, subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below your paranormal experiences. I would love to hear about um, your experiences with the paranormal. And leave a like if you like this video. Um, again, subscribe. It'll definitely help out this channel if you subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.